Hi, this is Fashionista Jones. And Johnny Diamond. And welcome to another episode of Hot Tea Photography Review. Where each week we take a look at all the main stage fashions on Canada's Drag Race and vote. Is it boot? Or a boot? So if you want to see what this week's episode is all about, make sure to stay tuned. The runway, the first queen down the runway, the one and only Tainomi Banks, Lumber Jane Realness. I love this look. She definitely utilized everything she has in her box. Let's just say that. All the way down to the socks, to the suspenders. The only thing I would have to say about this look is the blue little cover-up with the shawl type collar hides what I know is a beautiful silhouette. What do you think? I adore this outfit. I really do. They did a wonderful job executing it. And visually, it's 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 actually just nice to look at, even if you don't know what it's what the theme is supposed to be. It's it's a great look. It's couture, it's lumberjacky. It's cozy. I am not a fan of the boot. But besides that, I'd have to totally be about this look. Totally. I agree. I am all about this look as well. Great first look. Up next, coming down the line, is Kiara with her Like a Prairie realness look. What do you think, Johnny? I have some thoughts on this look. I think it's a well-constructed look. I think they did a good job with what they were given, but in all honesty, I just, I don't like it. I don't like the look. I think it's because I am not partial to hay and um, that kind of motif, but I just don't like it. I'm really sorry. I think you did a good job with it, but I personally don't like it. I'm sorry. That's an uh, oop for me. I disagree with you. For me, this look is absolutely beautiful. I liked the initial promo look. I think they used, this is a hard theme like a prairie and to come out looking like that, it's it's like scarecrow realness. It's, it's beautiful. The boots are kind of questionable. Nonetheless, down to the makeup, even to the hair, her runway, she's very entertaining on the runway. I really like this look. I'm all about this look. There you have it, folks. That's my two cents. Speaking of two cents, we have Ilona coming down the runway in her Moscow realness. I don't like this look. She looks like a squid. I, I have to say it. It does not give me Moscow realness. It's a basic shape. Uh, her figure curve looks beautiful. I do like the hair. I do like the makeup as well, but this to me has nothing to do with Moscow. This is an oot for me. I'm going to have to agree with Fashionista Jones on this one. I am not a fan of any of this. It really doesn't fit the theme. I don't get it. I am not a fan of the open chest. I'm not partial to the the ribbon that's coming down, these shackle kind of things. I, I, I don't get it. I don't think it goes with the theme. Besides the hair, I don't like it. I'm going to have to give this one an oot. Well, you're certainly on the uh, up and oot tonight, aren't you? <clears throat> very, very, very voluptuous Boa sporting her Man of Green Gables looks. I like this look. Although it has nothing to do with Man of Green Gables, except for the color green. I'm glad Michelle Visage wasn't a mm -hmm. guest judge on this one. I think she did a really good look. I mean, used everything in the box to its full advantage. The skirt looks, once again, like a very, like a piece of fabric that was just hooked around and the corset was put on top. They have great energy on the runway. I am all about this look, I have to say. Just because you use everything in the box that was given to you doesn't mean you pass the project. In saying that, I do like the shoes. I think it's really cute how she took that um, dirty potato kind of uh, vibe. Everything else I'm not really a fan of whatsoever, and I'm really not enjoying those bows. It looks like a really bad St. Patrick's Day outfit. That's an oot for me. Prancing her way down is the very citrusy lemon sporting her jock scraps box. What do you think, Johnny? It's very citrusy for sure. Very on brand. It Yes, this is definitely on her brand. I like the color scheme to an extent. It's kind of mediocre in my opinion. 
but she still definitely pulled it off. I'm, I'm about it. I'm about it. I really like this look. It's very on brand with the color of lemon citrus. She utilized as well everything that was in her box. Seeing a lot of corsets tonight, except on Ilona. I love the hockey stick, even to the mouth guards that were placed on the tops of her shoes. I think this is an absolutely on point representation. I am all about this look. Next up, we have Anastasia sporting her Canada gay look. This is so sweet. I mean, who doesn't love a puffer jacket? The way it's cut, it's actually really nice as well. Not a fan of the band that's around the neck. Everything is red. It's very on brand with Canada and the color, which is red. I do love the maple leaf as well. I am all about this look. I'm going to have to agree with Fashionista. Um, I really dig this look as well. I like the material. I like the color. Um, I'm a really big fan of how they made a puffy cape. Whatever it is, I like it. I really enjoy it. To me, this is um, Canadiana right here. If I were to see this even without the maple leaf, I'd be like, that's Canadian couture right there. Right there. So I'm gonna, I, I, I'm definitely about this look. I agree, all about this look. Now we have the very juicy pint-sized little, little thing, little juice pack. Miss Juice Box with her Much Ruzik Video Prance Box. She tried, she really tried. It's very Flintstone. She definitely took the CDs that were in the box and put it on the garment as well. I mean, a disco ball purse. The hair is cute. She, once again, knows how to paint a face. There was a real good opportunity for her in this look to utilize the box. She didn't utilize her box. Always utilize your box. She had old VHS tapes in there and I don't see a single scrap of a VHS tape on her body. This is oops for me. The thing about this look as well, we have seen so many episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race now that we have seen so many crushed up CDs and Christmas ornaments, anything shiny, crack it up, glue it onto your shirt, call it a day. No, we could go to a, to a local pride parade and see this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to give this one an oops for sure. Next, we have Scarlet Bobo with her glampede look. Now this look is pure Canadiana to me. Who doesn't love a good Calgary stampede? Talk about utilizing everything in the box from down to the cowhide chaps, to all the handkerchiefs and scarves. The color story is beautiful, down to the hat. This is from head to toe couture. It is, it's modern, it's fresh. I am all about this look. I really appreciate the way that she used the handkerchiefs in this outfit. She could have so easily just thrown a handkerchief around her neck or around her waist, or even made a, a skirt out of handkerchiefs, as I feel like that, that, you know, piece of the fabric, you can do loads of stuff with them. But the fact that she actually made this top piece with this really cool sleeve on the side, that's pretty impressive in my opinion. The colors go really nicely together. It's very, very cute. It's very um, zoomer at the mall. I love the chaps. They are not only chappy, but they're also very high couture. Again, like they could have come out many different ways, but the way that she constructed them uh, is definitely screaming high fashion to me. Um, the entire look the whole thing, head to toe, I'm very much a Buddha, very much. Priyanka is showing us her gone fishy in the box realness. It is very on point with what's in the box, gone fishy. Her silhouette looks great. It's very nautical. Her makeup looks fierce as well. It's a very safe look to mm -hmm. me. And another example of a queen who has a really good presence on the runway, someone who really connects with people as they're walking and uh, very talented as well. I am all about this look. This look to me is very safe. It's, it's simple, yet it definitely is doing the job. But in saying that, it's not particularly creative. I would have liked to seen something a little different. Now the shoes were really cool, but everything else is just kind of mediocre. 
pride parade on the float. It's it's definitely safe. I'm definitely a Buddhist. Jimbo with Rain Blow It Up. Still like her promo look. I am very confused with this. It looks like a circus tent. The hair is cute. The hat does not match the scale. Again, another corset. I will give her kudos for arranging all of those what looks to be 600 plus zippers in the color story that's there. Another example of a safe look. Not my favorite. This is Oot. What do you think? I totally agree. Everything about this outfit is Oot for me except for the hair and makeup. I don't like it and those boots are hideous. So that's definitely an Oot for me. Winding down our runway, Canadian Canuck Couture Eleganza is kind showing us her Yukon gold digger in a box. I ain't saying she's a gold digger, but I ain't saying this is a good look. At this point, if you're going to drag race, I think you should know better than to just wear a gold jumpsuit on the first main stage. I mean, the jumpsuit itself is nicely constructed. It's a nice jumpsuit. It's a nice color. And if I didn't know what the theme was, I wouldn't be able to guess it either. It's, it's uncreative. It's boring. The only thing it really has going is the, in the Yukon Gold Digger is the color gold. Yeah, no, you're completely right for once. Oh, this is oot for me. If you didn't guess, it's an, it's an oot for me too. Sorry. Sorry. Last but most certainly not least, we have Rita Baga with her Quebec froid look on the runway. This is very unfinished. <laughs> the skirt's not hemmed. The shoes are terrible. I don't know what those ball things on the heels are. I mean, she pulled out a bag of cheese curds out of a plastic baggie and just started eating it. I thought it was popcorn at first. Oh wait, that's popcorn on her head. And this look is oof for me. In fact, I think it's actually the worst look of the night. I can't find anything positive to say about this look. I am appalled with the Christmas ornaments on the head, the unhemmed uh, fabric, these horrible, horrible shoes. And then to wind it all down, I mean, I get it's a, it's a gimmick, it's a little trick, you know, pull the, the cheese curds out of your boobs, but it's just literally in a, in a, in a Ziploc baggie? This is an oot. So, Johnny, what is your favorite overall look tonight? I'm dying to know. My favorite all look tonight is going to have to be Scarlet Bobo. Yes, me too. It is by far the best glampede Canuck Couture Fantasy, hands down. So we hope you enjoyed this episode of Hot Tea Photography Review with myself, Fashionista Jones. And me, Johnny Diamond. Tune in next week where we still break down all the looks from the runway of Canada's Drag Race. Why we don't have free health care. I mean, we have free health care, but we don't have <laughs> dental care. <laughs>